Hello, welcome to RPM News Weekly, a roundup of important automotive news that goes behind the headlines. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. News from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit dominated the automotive world this week, highlighted by a flurry of new arrivals, discussions concerning the future of transportation, and the announcement of the annual Car and Truck of the Year selections, as well as a new Utility Vehicle of the Year award. A debut that captured our attention is the all-new 2018 Kia Stinger, a five-passenger fastback sports sedan that will enter the U.S. market late this year as the highest performance production vehicle in the automaker's history. The Stinger stirs things up in a segment typically crowded with European brands, exhibiting a sassy, muscular look with all the elegant hallmarks of the finest touring cars. Offered with a choice of turbocharged engines, still under development according to Kia, the Stinger checks in with either an estimated 255 horsepower from a 2 liter 4 or 365 horsepower from a 3.3 liter V6. The cabin is spacious and accommodates the performance minded driver by relaying cornering G-forces and lap times via a TFT display in the gauge cluster. Meanwhile, Volkswagen introduced the all-electric ID Buzz autonomous vehicle concept that the company plans to put into production by 2025. The zero emissions microbus puts VW on record as a serious contender in the race towards a future where transportation needs are sustained by self-driving electric vehicles. Electric motors mounted front and rear provide all-wheel drive performance for the multi-purpose ID Buzz, which can quickly switch from manual mode to self-piloting mode by a push on the steering wheel to decouple it from the steering gear. Laser scanners emerge from the roof to provide guidance for the vehicle, along with a host of sensors and cameras. Once underway in autonomous mode, the driver and passenger can rotate their seats to engage in face-to-face -face conversation with rear seat passengers. Finally, honors for North American Car of the Year went to the Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicle, while the Truck of the Year award was presented to the Honda Ridgeline pickup in the new utility vehicle category, the Chrysler Pacifica minivan earned top recognition. The Bolt stands out with an EPA certified range of 238 miles on a charge. The Ridgeline boasts a smoother ride than most pickups courtesy of its car style chassis. It also offers some unique features like a double hinged tailgate that opens down or to the side. The Chrysler Pacifica offers traditional gasoline models as well as a hybrid edition that has a 35 mile all electric range enough for most daily driving needs. A distinguished panel of about 60 automotive journalists selected the winners of these much prized automotive awards that are given each year to honor excellence in design, innovation, performance, technology, safety, driver satisfaction, and value. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Rich Tabor. Tune in next week for another edition of RPM News Weekly.